We, um, we often lead quite long warm-ups at the beginning of a rehearsal, don't we? But what when you don't have the time to do that? Let's say you're about to perform, you're gathering your people together uh, before you go on and do your performance, and you've, you've got almost no time to get in the zone, to do the warm-up, stretch the body, stretch the voice, and just get into the zone when you're about to perform. We need a five-second warm-up. What is your five-second warm-up? This is one that I like. It stretches the body, it stretches the mind, and it's the exaggerated yawn. It goes... It's not a realistic yawn, it's a ridiculously theatrical yawn, such as you might do in a bad school play. And what I like is that it matches the gesture with the voice. We're stretching the body right up, right out to the side, opening out the posture, and at the same time, we're singing up to our very highest note that we can physically manage right down to the lowest in sync with the arms. A good way to get onto it is to not just start singing the vowel, but go onto it from an NG sound, like that. And then you get the sound of an exotic bird at the top of your travel. So it appeals to people that like to do the nye 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 type warm-ups as well. But if you think of um, measuring the pitch of your voice, uh, the, the place in your, in your range with the position of your arms, so that there is your highest note, there you're about in the middle, and that's the lowest note you can grind out of your boots. Then you can play around with this and go, reverse it, imagine you're playing around with the footage, with the video of yourself doing that, scrolling it forward and backwards. That livens it up a bit, but if you have five seconds to warm up, it's a big stretch and a yawn, surely, isn't it? That's your five second warm up.